Hi, I'm Tabik, and this is my game Catacomb Kids, a roguelike platformer currently available on Steam and itch.io in early access. I've just released version 0.1.3, which adds a brand new class to the game, along with a lot of other neat additions and changes. I've gotten kind of tired of making actual trailers whenever I push out a large update, so I'm going to try something different this time around and just give a summary of the new features in this build. First things first, this update adds a new player class to the game, the Tinkerer. Each class in Catacomb Kids is associated with a particular stat and has a unique ability. Tinkerers are crafty item users, planners, and mechanics, and as such they're associated with intelligence. Their special ability isn't really an ability so much as a companion. All Tinkerers have a flying robot buddy that can carry items and fight alongside them. The Tinkerbot has four different modes that the player can switch between at will. In defensive mode, the Tinkerbot will only attack enemies that you're already in combat with, but won't fly off and start fights on its own. In offensive mode, it'll attack any nearby creature, regardless of whether they're aware of you or not. In manual mode, you control the robot directly, letting you move, attack, and pick up items with it, but you lose control of your kid while doing so. And lastly, in idle mode, the Tinkerbot enters an inactive standby state. You can use this mode to tell your Tinkerbot to wait somewhere out of the way while you go do something dangerous. You can also interact with the Tinkerbot in this mode and manage its held item or modify its behavior. Of course, nothing lives forever, and the Tinkerbot will be destroyed if it takes too much damage. When this happens, it breaks into three pieces that are scattered around the level, and in order to restore it, you'll need to reassemble the parts and then take a moment to power it up again. In addition to their Tinkerbot companions, Tinkerers also have a chance to start with items unique to their class, called contraptions. There are only two kinds of contraptions so far, grenades and wind-up turtles, but more are planned for future updates. Those are the essentials of the new Tinkerer class, but there's much more to them than that that you'll have to discover for yourself. I'm excited to finally have the fourth class implemented, and I think they'll find their place alongside the Bully, Wanderer, and Poet as a valued addition to the game. The next major addition to this update is the introduction of Catacoins. These coins are a kind of currency that you gain over the course of multiple runs by getting far and gaining reputations. Reputations are titles given to you at the end of your runs based on how you played. For instance, if at least half of your kills are made with your bare fists, you'll get the reputation Bloody Knuckles at the end of your run. Different reputations are worth different amounts of catacoins based on how difficult they are to get, but even if you don't get any reputations at all, you'll still slowly gain catacoins over the course of your runs to spend. As for what you can do with these coins, there's only one thing to spend them on so far, but I think it's pretty neat. You can spend coins to customize the otherwise randomly rolled kids, tweaking certain starting traits and equipment to generate a kid that suits the way you play. But keep in mind that the more specific you are, the pricier the kid becomes. You can choose to spend just a few coins for a simple quality of life improvement, or save them up to roll an expensive all-star suited to your tastes. But play well to make sure they survive and make the investment worthwhile. The last thing I want to talk about are the changes I've made to shopkeepers. Shopkeepers are no longer generic sellers of all things, but are instead divided into four different shop types. Blacksmiths, magic dealers, potion brewers, and clothiers. In addition to each shop type offering different kinds of items, shopkeepers themselves now offer a variety of services unique to their profession. Blacksmiths can improve your weapon's stats and repair damaged equipment. Magic dealers will sell you a single spell that doesn't require learning points to acquire. Potion Brewers will identify any potion type for a price, and Clothiers offer enchantments for your armor, shoes, and helmet. I also just kind of wanted to show off the background details that I've made for these shops, because I'm allowed to be proud of my work, right? Right? So those are just a few of the new things in this build, and I haven't even touched on crumble forts, new visual effects, new battle music, changes to level generation, lanterns, and trajectory, and disarm. But I've got to stop making this video at some point, so let's call it here. If you want to hear about any of that postscript stuff that I just glossed over, or if you just want to say what's up and listen to good music and have a chill time, I do development streams every Monday and Friday on Twitch. And we've also got a Discord channel that you're welcome to join. If that's not your jam, but you still want to keep up with the game's development, I'll slam a link to the Catacomb Kids mailing list down below. More importantly, if any of this looks so good that you just want to play it now, and you haven't, 
congratulations, that's entirely possible. You can get it on Steam and itch.io, but be warned, I've been told this game is pretty good by strangers who have no obligation to be kind to me. So, that's nice. <laughs>